Hello everybody, and I had to split the tutorial out of technical problems. So right now, let us just continue from where we stopped. So I will just run my uh, reverse shell once again, or pardon me, my server, in order to listen the connections. So let me just run it. It prints out listening for incoming connections. I will enlarge this. Oops, it's not there, it's here, so zoom in. And right now, this is the file that we received after we compiled it and after we added the ICO of that image and also, once we run this, this should actually run the image first. So we should be opening this image and also opening our reverse shell in the background. This should also install a persistence right away in the uh, roaming folder and also the uh, registry key in our Windows registry. So let us go right here. Go to the command prompt first before we run it in order to check if everything worked well. So app data, cd roaming, and we can enlarge this. We can also go to the registry. Let's run, then reg edit. We click here yes, and we can see that there is nothing uh, named backdoor right here. So let us run this program. We click on it, and hopefully. Uh, it will open the image and also it will create a registry key for us in the registry. So let us wait for this to open. It doesn't seem to actually open anything. So if that doesn't work, we will have to redo this. But sometimes some images won't really open. Let us see if at least our registry was added and we can see our registry is added right here. So, reverse shell.exe, let us see if we received connection, we did, but for some reason our, our image didn't open, so let us try something else. Let me just uh, go to my task manager, so I can delete the, or close the program, let me just find it, here it is, I end task. Now let's actually delete this as well and try to compile once again. So let me just go right here. You remember that we turned our image to be an ICO, so we should just be good to go right now. So wine root dot wine drive C Python scripts py installer dot exe. Then we add the data for the image since we want to open it. We go to the root Python programs reverse and then this image right here. But before we do that, let us see if we correctly specified the name of the image itself in the reversed shell. So before we run this, let me just close this and go to the reverse shell.py and let us see if there is any problem right here for why our reverse shell didn't really work. And there seems to be the problem. So we need to have a forward slash right here in order for it to be able to find our directory with our image. So right now we added the forward slash right here and the name of our image in our directory. So let us save this and right now let us continue with this command. So remember after the specification of the image uh, path you need to specify here dot and comma and then dot. After that what we want to do is we want to actually go and specify other uh, things as well, such as one file and no console. And we also want to add the icon that we converted in the previous tutorial. So root downloads, I believe, and then dragon.ico. This is the path to where we saved our image icon. And right now we want to specify the name of the file and we should be good to go. So I will click here, uh, enter and let it compile. And in the meantime, I will plug in my USB drive. Now let's plug in the USB drive into the Cal Linux. We should delete the previous reverse shell. So we don't confuse these two. This one should work. Now the previous one didn't open the image because we didn't specify the forward slash or the backward slash in our reverse shell.py. So let us open this in terminal and delete the reverse shell.exe. Now we can close this, close this as well. 
we can open this. We can see that the compilation has finished. Let me just see why this terminal didn't close. Okay. And right now we go to our this directory and move the reverse shell.exe into media root and then Kali live. Once we move it, we can now delete all of these files. And we can start our server. Now we can unplug our USB drive as usual. We open everything right here. We paste it to desktop as we can see it looks exactly the same as in the previous one. Just this one should open the image now. But before we actually do that we need to delete the previous backdoor.exe. Since, since if we do not delete this and also the registry, this will not open an image since it op only opens the image once it is being ran for the first time. So let us delete the backdoor, exit the, the command prompt and also let's delete the registry key. So click here delete, delete this value and right now if we run this, right now we should actually open the image itself. As we can see, it looks like a legit image, but it just takes a few seconds to load. So here it is, it opened the image and this should look pretty normal for our user or our target. They click on an icon that actually has this image, they also double click it and it also opens this image. Now most of the users do not have their extensions on their PC, so they will not be able to see .exe here. And even if they do see .exe, most of the non-technical people do not really know what executable means and they will probably think it is some glitch that, and that this is an actual image. But let's see did we receive the connection. So we did receive the connection. Right now if I just type here who am I, we can see that we can execute the commands. And the good part right here is that it actually uh, doesn't open the image at the boot even though we got the registry right here. Here we also install the registry and next time the system reboots it will not open an image. It will just open the reverse shell which is good. So we got a fully working reverse shell right now which opens the image which also has the icon and which can actually trick some users into running it. Now the next thing we want to do in the next video is I will show you how you can actually check if the user ran your program or your backdoor on the administrator account. If they did run it on the administrator account, we will have we will we can actually put our registry key inside inside the local machine, which will allow us to actually have a persistence on every account on that machine. The H key in the current user uh, registry actually only gives us the persistence if the user logs into the same account next time. But if they log in, for example, into administrator account, they will not. We will not be getting the reverse shell back. So we want to first check out if the user is admin, and if they are admin, we will actually install it in the local machine. If they are not admin, we will install it in the H key current user. So more about that in the next video. This was about it for now. I hope I see you in the next video and take care. Bye.